Friends, good afternoon and greetings from Bishopscroft on this Advent Sunday. In just a few days' time, on Thursday, this second period of lockdown will come to an end and we'll be able to resume, albeit in a socially distanced and Covid careful sort of a way, uh, among other things, our patterns of public worship. And this seemed to me uh, to be a good moment just to send uh, a message of encouragement uh, to you all and of thanksgiving. I've been reflecting over the course of the past week on the difference it's making to my morale and and I guess also uh, in many cases uh, to yours to know that there's a vaccine coming. Uh, of course we've known in theory that that this day would uh, would would come for, for for months. I remember early in the first period of lockdown um hearing reports of of research teams in Oxford working around the clock and uh, and so on but uh, the release date the availability um, just seemed too distant to make much difference to the way that I was um, feeling from, from day to day. But much more recently, since we heard reports of how effective the trials um, had been, and uh, last week, as we heard the uh, Prime Minister um, appoint a member of the Cabinet as, as Minister for Mass Vaccination, um, it really has begun to feel as if the first clinical uses is, is, is imminent uh, and, uh, and that, um, that, that a vaccine will be available to all of us uh, so that we can almost now begin to anticipate the day when um, social distancing won't be necessary anymore and travel restrictions will be restricted and uh, it'll be able uh, we'll be able to to gather with family and friends in an unrestricted way and um, congregate for worship uh, and sing uh, with one another once again and anticipating it uh, just fills our hearts with hope doesn't it and and that's become uh, this year for me uh, an image of advent advent um, after all, just means coming. And during this period of Advent, which is also um, often called a period of joyful hope, uh, we anticipate in a particular um, way, with particular emphasis and focus, uh, the fact that the kingdom of God is, is coming. You'll remember that um, central petition in the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Well, in Advent, um, that petition comes into its own. We uh, uh, we we anticipate we 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 look forward to the fact uh, that one day the kingdom of God will come, uh, bringing to completion uh, the redemption for which uh, God first sent His Son to be born uh, in Bethlehem, uh, to, uh, to to live, to suffer, uh, to die, to be raised from the dead, uh, to be ascended into heaven. Uh, the the work that that Jesus uh, began uh, in, in, in two thousand years ago will be brought to completion and. Uh, all creation will be renewed and uh, redeemed. And um, sometimes that uh, prospect feels as close to me as the imminence of the vaccine now feels. And uh, I, I have no difficulty sometimes um, sensing the freedoms that the coming of God's kingdom will bring. Freedom uh, from sin, uh, freedom from tyranny, freedom from oppression of every every kind, freedom from suffering, freedom from tears, a freedom from pain, a freedom from death. Uh, and um, I, I want to encourage you this, this Advent season to let your hearts be lifted in joyful hope um, as you too anticipate uh, the glorious prospect of the coming of the kingdom of God. Thank you so much for all that you have been doing to sustain uh, the mission and worship of the church uh, during 2020. Uh, it's been such a tough year and it is good, isn't it, just to sense that 2021 will bring some relief. May God bless you and may God give you this Advent hearts full of joyful hope.